name is Jesse LaFiles and I'm the Director of Camp Henry and Outdoor Programs for the Diocese of Western North Carolina. Camp Henry is incredibly special because Camp Henry is not only faith-based, so kids come here and through play and singing and dancing and activities, it comes in and it pulls little strings and it brings things together in that really unique way that you don't get maybe from other faith formation that they've experienced in their lives. And then in a completely different direction, they're learning social skills and they're learning all these things that make kind of a whole child. And Camp Henry is able to do that for folks who maybe couldn't make it to other camps. Financially, camp is unique in that we will bring any child that wants to come to camp to camp. What Camp Henry's trying to do is to reach out to El Centro, to reach out to St. Phillips, to find other groups around the diocese who maybe camp is not part of their culture and to show them like a loving way to camp where they can come and try it and if they're not comfortable, what would make them more comfortable? This summer, Camp Henry was awarded $25,000 through the diocese and that money is going to go to buy a bus for camp that will then be able to go out into communities, down to Brevard to pick up the El Centro kids, up to Mars Hill to pick up kids that are far out. And we're even looking at going over to Lincolnton and Rutherford and finding ways to reach communities that have campers who transportation might be the biggest barrier that they're facing. So in July of this year, we received word that a grant that we had applied for back in the spring from the Episcopal Church regarding creation care had been awarded. So with this grant, we're going to be partnering with several of our community partners. So we've got um, Haywood Waterways, we're working with the Museum of the Cherokee Indian, and then also um, artisans over in Cherokee who use River Cane as a very important part of handicrafts that are part of the history, part of the culture, and just a huge part of their everyday lives. The first part is going to be to take um, existing river cane from properties here in Western North Carolina and transplant it into the field here at Lake Logan along the West Fork of the Pigeon River. And then that river cane will be protected for artisans to come and harvest for years to come. In addition to that, we'll be able to teach folks about it and that visitors here to Lake Logan and students that come will be able to learn all about these different types of plants. Although camp had a really great year this past summer, um, we saw a lot of struggles for the families that were coming. So although the Camp Henry Scholarship Funds are really strong, supporting, supporting scholarships or finding families in your communities that you can support and send their kids to camp, the campers need it. They come and they are um, in, in a really hard place, a lot of them. You know, when they get to us, we're seeing a lot more mental health um, challenges with campers. And camp is great for that because it gets you outside and it gets you the community that maybe you don't have when you're just going to school or when you're studying online. What I want to close with is just how grateful I am to be part of this community. Um, the Diocese of Western North Carolina has welcomed me and my family with open arms. We've definitely found a home here and I see it in the kids too. You know, a lot of times kids aren't that connected with their churches or with their faith family and, um, and it's strong here. So I, I can't wait to continue to foster that and I hope that you all kind of see that in your communities and are able to, to foster it in whatever way you can as well.